Hello ladies and gentle people. <laughs> Welcome back to Empress Marcy's channel. I'm her brother-in-law. This is my beautiful daughter Kiana. Hi Auntie Carrie. And we're about to do a little history tour of the Cayman Islands up east and the wreck of the Ten Sails. What we have here, folks, <laughs> is the wreck of the 10 sails. It's a wreck of 10 ships that I think it was in 1794. Sometime the um, royal family came down. They were coming from Jamaica, going to the United States, and they came here and they wrecked on the, the reef. And the Caymanian, the good Caymanian people came out there and they rescued them, saved them from out of the stormy weather. And from that day, the queen has made, or the king, sorry, has made um, the Cayman Islands a tax-free haven after that time. So come on, let's take a walk. <laughs> Wild tamarind, they're the parrot, they love them. <laughs> Big tree barbecue. Oh yeah, like I said before, in, on February the 8th, in 1794, I don't even know who were in charge then, if it were the queen or the king, but they, they were having direct, they were had 10 sails, and they were coming from Jamaica, going to the United States, and I guess they were stopping here, and then I'll crash on the reef out here. So, if it wasn't for the good Caymanian people, they would have all been dead. They, were, they would have all died. <laughs> <laughs> so they made us tax free, which is not entirely true, but we we'll left that for another <laughs> subject. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little bit of history right there for you. People getting a shot now. So can I like, read that part, right? Okay, so this right here is it says the commemoration of the two hundredth anniversary of the wreck of the ten sails which was founded near this reef on february 8th 1794 and to mark the visit of this site of the of her majesty the queen on february 27th 1994. and if you look out there and zoom in you can't really see the ship there no more because Oh, right there. Yeah. If you look out there, where that boat is. Yeah. Well, so us, nothing new. There's re they're resting. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bush venture in. <laughs> Hold on there. I look like one crab hole. <laughs> Joke me, I'm Pretty big crab hole. 
All right, you see them hole there is is like natural formation, you know, and it deep too, you know. Wow. If I want a big stone throw, throw down in there. Gone way down in there. It's a little spider. Man, imagine if I want crab come out of that hole there. Eh? See, we have the limestone iron shore and our natural thatch trees. Bull thatch, they call them. Natural iron shore rocks made from limestone. It's what made the Cayman Islands what it is, you know. The natural formation of limestone. These thatch trees were the old Caymanians them used to use to make a basket and everything, you know. So we used to export back in the day. Make thatch baskets and stuff like that and rope and stuff. So when the when the Caymanian man them used to go and see, the wife them, the woman them stay home and they used to make baskets. And other things. And other things. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, now we're headed to the Cayman Islands East End Lighthouse on Maritime Heritage Trail. It is all the way up there. Yeah, you go ahead. So yeah, they chose to elect this spot because it's like one of the highest, the highest points of Cayman that is above sea level. Cayman is not that high. It's not that high. <laughs> I think the highest part above sea level in the Cayman Islands is like 30 feet above sea level. So yeah, back in the day it was really, really, really troublesome for the ships when they were coming in because you know in a like Jamaica well, Jamaica have the mountains and you can see the mountains far out at sea yeah Cayman was so small that the ships would come towards Cayman and don't see Cayman and then run aground when they come here so that's why they erected this lighthouse so the ships could see that there was land you know from far away <laughs> all the way down there guys oh, she's taking way, forever by the way that's my beautiful wife <laughs> Empress Marcy's sister <laughs> it's kind of camera shy but you don't know <laughs> come let me finish the tour without her okay Ooh. so as you can see it's kind of botanical up through here you know it has quite a lot of greens greens there uh, Okay, full of all kind of information. There's an iguana. Where? You want to limb up there? You can um, zoom in on him. You see him at the point? There, there, there he is. is. It's a little iggy. <laughs> He's not moving right now. No, he's ready to go sleep. The sun is going down. <laughs> ready for drop of sleep? Yeah, no. <laughs> This is the lighthouse. This is the lighthouse. <laughs> Solar panel. This one over here was the old lighthouse. This one, let me show I guess through the many storms, it 
Never really lasted too long. No. Eh? Yeah. So, the Gorlin Bluff Lighthouses. <clears throat> Since 1919, a lighthouse has stood on this site to help guide boats safely through the eastern channels. The older of the two lighthouses was built between 1918 and 1919. I'm gonna take a picture and let her put it in there. What I'm gonna do is climb the lighthouse. Hey, Mom, look at the side. You're not supposed to climb the lighthouse. David, Ben, you're gonna use the trigger, Jim. She thought it was a toilet, y'all. What is wrong with you, man? I right, hold my shield. Okay. Don't fall now. top of the lighthouse ladies and gentlemen so you get a clear view of the ocean it's so pretty out I see Get a good view of the landscape. So beautiful. Yeah. All you want is the one mountain in the background now. It's beautiful, but not as beautiful as Jamaica. hour later hey ladies and gentlemen people welcome back to Empress Marcy's vlog <laughs> hey ladies and gentlemen people welcome back to Empress Marcy's channel my name is David I'm her brother-in-law this is my beautiful daughter Kiana hi guys and I'm sorry pause it right there I'm so excited, we're so excited to be doing day four of Vlogos for her on the history of the Cayman Islands and the wreck of the Ten Sails. Hope you guys enjoy, subscribe and like. Right. I'm so excited to be I'm doing... Sorry. <laughs> yeah. This video was collaborated with some amazing content creators here on YouTube. Their links will be in the description box down below. And thanks to Sassy Ren and Simply Color Jones for creating this Vlogos group. Also, thanks to my brother-in-law, David Worms, and my sister, Tarsian Worms, and my lovely niece, Kiana. I really appreciate you guys making this video for me, and I'm looking forward to see more content from you guys. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up